What's up, YouTube? Tech Lowe's back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about the Verizon Messenger app and the desktop application. So, um, the reason I wanted to make this video is to kind of talk to you guys about, you know, the functionality of this desktop application. So, let's go ahead and search here for Verizon Messenger app. It's going to come up here. It's usually the first one. And uh, brings up some information about the actual application itself. So let's talk about the application itself. So if you're not using, if you have Verizon and you're not using the, um, the application that they have, uh, the Messenger app, I suggest giving it a try. I know that for me, like I get complacent and I use an application for a while and I just kind of get tired of the gimmicks. So I won't like check out new stuff. Well, I checked out this new Messenger app just because I had it on my new GS6 and, um, and it came stock. So I started using it, um, and I really liked it. The Verizon Messenger app is pretty sick. It has a lot of good features. I like the audio um, options to just leave a message, and you know I just started using it. It was good. So I uh, wanted to see what they had uh, available for desktop applications. So here it is. It has a little information about the app itself, and then you can see download desktop application. So you can go ahead and download that. Go to your downloads. It'll have it. Um, I already have it installed, so I don't need to install it, but you know how to do that. Uh, once you have it installed, uh, here it is right here. So we got our messaging app open here. Uh, you can lower this, uh, you know, minimize it so you don't have to worry about, you know, it being in the way, and it'll still actually give you messages. So even with it minimalized like this, if a message happens, you're going to see it in the like, top right-hand corner. It'll say message from Carlos or whoever's texting you. So as you can see here, um, you also have the functionality to go through and read your messages. Um, you can always uh, save your messages this way if you want to do a screenshot or something like that. Obviously, you can do that on the phone, too. But let's look at a message here. Uh, this is from my friend Juan. And uh, just, you know, all the functionality that you would have on the phone, you have on the desktop. As you can see here, we're talking about my graphics card. I got the R9 Fury X, and he was asking how it was working. Um, and I sent him a video of me playing the Mean Greens. So you can see that playing there. I mean, obviously, here, it, this video is... Uh, a video that was taken and sent through a messaging app, so it's not high quality, but it's still pretty good. So for me, this just really works out for me for a bunch of different reasons. Uh, sometimes I may be sitting at the computer and I left my phone upstairs in my room, or maybe it's charging upstairs in the room, and I want to check my uh, messages, I can just always load this up. I like to actually have it running um, so that you, know, you can get your messages uh, when you're doing your productivity work or whatever you're doing, media consumption. Um, there can be some probably, uh, you know, not good benefits of having this. For instance, if you left this open on your computer, people had access to your computer, you were texting somebody private, it would be loaded up. But I would suggest if you do have this to lock your computer down or don't be using it if you don't want anybody to know your personal information. Um, but to me, it's just a really good app that I wanted to share with you guys, and it's made my life a lot easier. And there's been a couple of times where it's actually came in really, really handy, be it I misplaced my phone or whatever it was. Um, I was able to use this really quick to take care of business. So, Tech Lowe's, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.